What's up, everybody? Chaos Dark Soul here, back for episode number 10, I believe, of my Pokemon Emerald Randomized Flying Monologue. In the last episode, got to made it here to Full Arbor Town, got, uh, went to Meteor Falls, got some encounters. One encounter is very, very good, but because of those encounters, I did not do any grinding. I feel like I'm a little high level as it is already with three of my Pokemon, so the other two didn't need to catch up. Um, so the what I need to do today is go to Mount Chimney and fight Team Magma. But before I do that, if you, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to hit the like button. All the support really does help. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos, hopefully every day. Um, there should be, at least for the next couple of days, there should definitely be at least one video a day. And what I need to do, actually, I just remembered something, is before I show off the team, this guy should give me a TM, which normally is Roar, but because it's randomized, it's going to be whatever it decides to be. I don't know what it is. All my Pokemon does is attract. Well, normally he would say all my Pokemon does is roar. So, I think I know what the TM is. No one dares to come near me. If you would, please take this TM away. Tame the TM05. Put it away. The TM05 contains a trap. Not even going to see if any of my Pokemon can learn it, because it's a trap. Now I can... Let's show off the team real quick. First up, we have Sarah the Doe Duo. I did have a Doe Duo before, um, because it died, and because the encounters are a little rare to run into an actual flying type, I decided to catch another one. Sarah the Doe Duo, level 17, with Pet, Growl, Pursuit, and Fury Attack. Next up, we have the good Pokemon being Moltres, Juan the Moltres, with Wing Attack, Ember, and Fire Spin. I did catch this thing due to the randomizer's ability to set the minimum catch rate to 45. I feel like that's just fair, honestly. Who wants to sit there and try to catch Pokemon with a 3 catch rate? It just defies all logic that you're taught in the game of weakening a Pokemon and throwing Pokeballs. Even if it's in the red and asleep, it's still going to take you like 30 plus Ultra Balls to catch a Legendary with a 3 catch rate. So, it just makes it a little bit easier. Personally, I don't care. We got Hannah the Knocked Owl, Swift Reflect, Hypnosis, and Pack. Nothing's changed there. We got Bridget the Pidgeotto with Whirlwind, Sand Attack, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. I don't know what I was trying to say there. And next, we have Rhonda, the Golbat, with Leech Life, Wing Attack, Bite, and Payday. And then we have our Fred that's dead. He's there for potential rock smashing needs. But now we're going to go to... We're going to go back... Oh, hey. There's an item here. A Netball. Not catching any bug Pokemon, but... Never know, I might run into a Beautifly. So I gotta go back to the fiery path so I can get to Meteor Falls. Which I'm trying to speed up and not use the run button because running makes wild encounters happen more often. But I still kept getting wild encounters. This guy might give me a randomized TM. In the randomizer, there's an option to set to where it doesn't randomize field TMs, but I'm not sure if I set that yet. Or, well, not yet. If I set it at all. If I didn't set it, I didn't set it, and it's going to be a randomized TM. If I did set it, it's going to be secret power. But I might as well talk to him and find out. What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Not if it's randomized. Tame the TM-43. If 
Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use seeker power in front of the tree. Some vines should get free and drop. So that makes me think it's not randomized. Is TM43? I think so. And drop down so you can climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room, a secret base. You should make one too. Another thing, you don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using secret power on rock walls that have small indents in them. I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. So he said secret power, but that could just be like the wording of the game. I know like with Roar it changed to attract, but let's find out. Water spout? I have had some really good luck with TMs, and because it's secret power, everybody's gonna be able to learn it. Let's teach it to. Well, the only Pokemon that has really good special attack. One. I'm not gonna waste a special move on a Pokemon that has physical. that has better physical attack than special attack. So I got a fire Pokemon that has a water move. One of the strongest, I mean, probably highest base power water move in the entire game. That is amazing. But one is a little low leveled. It's level 15, so... Uh, when I get, when it gets to the point of me actually having to fight Maxi, a stronger Pokemon is going to the front of the party. But for the grunts and stuff, I think I'll keep Sarah and Moltres as the front, too. The cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? I would like to get on it. Like, I don't know, the way it says, would you like to be on it, is like... It just sounds weird. It's like, would you like to be on it? Well, too bad! It's like she's not actually asking a question. Then you don't even say anything to me? Whatever. I'll say, thank you for using the cable car. We got Aqua and Magma Grunts fighting each other. Mostly just so you can't go that way. We got... We got Archie taking on three Poochianas with the Poochiana. Seems to be doing okay. We got another Magma and Aqua Grunt. And we have a double battle with, I think... Possibly the first female Magma Grunt that we're battling in the game. I could be wrong on that. Let me check my party just to make sure. Okay, that should be fine. For the Grunts, it should be fine. I think I also have to... I think this next guy up here on top is a an admin, but I think I, I should be okay to leave Sarah up there. I feel like I haven't seen a magma, a female magma grunt. We got Pansy and Rachel. So Rachel, at least it's a female name. Now here, I don't know what I want to do. I should be able to stay in. I mean, I'm sure Moltres has good special defense as well. I think I'm gonna Water Spout, because Water Spout hits both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's gonna hit both of them, because it didn't give me a, a selection. Probably not gonna do very much. <sighs> Fury Attack Mist. Course Fury Attack Mist. And please don't Thundershock Moltres. It didn't paralyze, so that's alright. I hate. Wow. <sighs> well... There goes another Doduo. Just can't have a Dodrio, I guess. Should've sent in Pidgeotto. Should've sent in Pidgeotto. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. 
but... I, I, the Pidgeotto thing doesn't matter, I don't know. That's... Down to a four Pokémon team, I guess. So... Move you up. Move you... here. And I should have at least a potion. I have a potion, I have some soda, or I have a soda pop, and I should also have some super potions. I think I bought some. Just in case. <sighs> so you've come all the way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered that meteorite from Meteor Falls to the boss. Okay, but he's just standing by the machine, not using it. If you really wanted to use it, you would. Magma Admin Anne. Do you have a Duskull? Um... And I don't know what a Duskull could do to me. Maybe I can use Water Spout. I'm faster just because I'm a Legendary. You're gonna Foresight. I don't know what else you have, so I kind of want to use Ember there. You have Cleffa. Is this thing specially defensive? I think... I think so. Nah. It's gonna charm me, so it's gonna lower my attack when I'm a special attack. Well, that was actually kinda dumb. Because you charmed, and then you confused me. Tentacle. I, I wanna switch out here. We're gonna go to... Rhonda, because I do wanna get a Crobat. Hopefully... I'm... I have enough... Togepi, I'll go back out to... One for that one. Hopefully, I have enough happiness. And I don't think one's going to be used in this next battle at all. Did get to level 16. Even though I've lost. If our leader awakens that thing. What thing? Where's a volcano? Is he going to awaken the volcano? I'm going to put. Yeah, I'm going to put Rhonda up front. Because I mean, he could have something insanely powerful. I don't know what... It's going to be randomized. Who I... I don't know. Power contained. Meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater, and... Oof. Huh. Huh. Who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who'd been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. Must be you, he meant. Ha! Huh. So you're thinking of, take, of interfering with us? Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is the cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of land mass. It is for further advancement of humankind and Pokémon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Ho! Oh, there's no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach the consequences of meddling in our grand design. I like this music. You get you probably can't hear it very well, but Magma Leader Malcolm would like to battle. Zangus. This could be a potential problem. I'm hoping wing attack does a good amount. That should... Uh, no, 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 You need to stop it right now. You need to just knock it off. I can't switch or anything. I could not give him the opportunity. I had to, like, hope that that was not going to be a low roll. Swords Dance not happening. Do I want to learn Confuse Ray? Um, I don't think so. I mean, the Leech Life is kind of crappy. I guess I can... I can get rid of Leech Life. I guess that that's fine. A Makuhita. Um... See, the problem is I don't know what level it is. So I kind of just want to stay in. I don't want to risk... potentially losing Juan after I just lost Sarah. Okay, oh, that's just nice. Love inner focus for that point. 
I hate fake out. I hate fake out. Don't do this to me. You just ruined my joy of hating fake out and having inner focus by having this stupid thing. I hate hate Mill Tank more than I hate fake out. Actually, I don't really hate Mill Tank all that much. It's just that it's a Mill Tank. Anybody that's played Gold and Silver knows how bad Mill Tank is. And I don't want to lose to a Mill Tank. I feel like this guy, even though he's not a gym leader, he's going to have some sort of potion. I feel like he's going to have, like, super potion at least. I'm going to use a super potion because I don't want to die. And he has a super potion. So I gotta pay attention, I wanna make sure I know when the snapping out of confusion happens. Um, get confused. So we're speed tied? I actually kinda wanna switch to Hannah. Cause I can set up a roof. Hurt yourself in confusion, you stupid... Okay... I should be okay to switch into... to Rhonda here. Another... Super Potion, and you... Oh, great. Hurt yourself in confusion. I didn't mean to do that again. Stop! I mean, at least you don't have rollout, because that would just be a problem. Okay. I had to. I had to speed up there. What? I right, Maxi was caught off guard. Well, you caught me off guard. But enough. I will be back. I will back off this time. I don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. <laughs> Even without the meteorites. If we obtain that orb... But... You had the meteorite. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. Jew, whose side are you on? Ha! Ah, doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. We shall meet again! Meteorite is fitted on a mysterious machine. Do you want to remove the meteorite? Sure. At this point, I think I can take it back to the guy in Full Arbor Town. Or in Meteor Falls, I don't know if he actually left. But, I do want to go to... the, you know, town. I think she sells lava cookies. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want lava cookies. I do want to heal. If anybody needs to heal, like Rhonda, uh, does the same thing. I guess Hannah could use some health too. But this is Jagged Pass. This is a new route. Do you want to battle? Mount Chimney's Jagged Pass. Now this is what I've always wanted on a mountain. The jagged bumpiness rocks my soul. I think I still have Rhonda up front. Which is alright, but... I, I do... Uh, I should have switched into one right there, because that would have been easy experience. I would have easily one-shot that new mole. Only that actually kind of looked... What do you mean I can't escape? stick right here. This is the sucky thing about not having Doduo anymore, is because Doduo had Runaway. I'm gonna have to put somebody else in front until I can possibly get a Pokemon. The only reason I'm not, like, continuing down like I normally would is because this route is just so sm I was I didn't think... For some reason, I thought, like, 
Knocked Owl got critted. I'm not catching a Hoot Hoot. I will dupes claws that thing even if Knocked Owl dies. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get a Pokemon here though. I'm still trying. Looks like Hoot Hoot would probably be my only choice, and I definitely don't want to. Oh, I did not realize you were gonna want to battle. I thought you were just gonna have something funny to say. Okay, you battled. Scarlet. Put one up front here, and you're gonna want to battle. Three Pokemon. Water Spout! That double kick's not gonna do very much to me. Magnemite? Sure, don't have Thundershock, though. Or don't use Thundershock. I don't care if you have it, just don't use it. Can you not? Can you not? Uh, no, I'm probably never going to come back into this area, and I avoided a double battle on accident. Venomoth, you are not part flying. I know that for a fact. You are bug poison, just like Beedrill. <sighs> kind of have given up at this point. Got a battle? Jack Pass, hard to walk on. It's a good place for training. Not really, if it's hard to walk on. Uh, you, you, you're gonna get super pushed. You don't need to die to a Pidgey. I know, I meant to use Ember. I just wanted to get experience on my frickin' Moltres. No, this isn't good at all. No! I can't lose to a frickin' Jigglypuff. Thank you, Rhonda. I can go catch that Hoot Hoot now! I'm not gonna catch the Hoot Hoot. I'm never coming back to- oh, I guess I can still easily come back to the area, but still, that's frickin' stupid- oh my god. That makes me mad. Hannah, you suck. I'm not- I'm not gonna- say anything nice about you. You missed hypnosis like twice in a row and you got yourself killed. But I've just realized this episode is a little over 20 minutes so I think I'm gonna end it off here. Next episode we will go into the Lava Ridge City Gym and maybe have another Pokemon on the team. But I don't think it's going to be a flying type. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye.